Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 9 of my modded Factorio playthrough. Looks like Matt Copper here. Alright, Steam is done. That's weird. Does that label always go above the character? I thought it was supposed to go underneath. Doesn't seem to be. Oh well. Don't care. Let's see. So, we're going to need one offshore pump, at least. Now the question is, how many boilers are we going to need? Yeah, it's kind of confusing how it works. But if you look at the boiler, it says it has an energy consumption of 3.6 megawatts, and its efficiency is half. So, out of that 36 megawatts, we're going to get uh, 1.8 megawatts out of it because it's only 50% efficient. And that 1800 will require two steam engines. So how many steam engines to at least match our capacity? Let's see, well each one of these is 4.9 megawatts, but it's only slightly efficient. So I will match, let's say 10. 10 is a good number. So how much for 10 megawatts? Let's see. I can't be bothered to calculate, so let me get the calculator out. 11. So, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because I don't know how to right click. And that requires 6 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. I think we'll just need some random pipes. Now, as a explanation of Bob's pipes, is that a euphemism for something? I don't know. Okay, so you see how it says size 5, size 10, and size 20. Um, it has an effect on how it handles fluids. I think the overall capacity is the same, but when you have, if I understand this correctly, when you have lighter fluids in the pipes, it's better to have big pipes. And when you have heavy fluids, it's better to have small pipes. So the way I take that is if you have gases, they should be going through a stone pipe. And if you have very thick fluids, like molten metals and stuff, and oil, it should go through a copper pipe. And things that are more or less water or water in some form or another should go through an iron pipe. That's the way I take it, and it hasn't given me any problems. So from what I understand of how it's supposed to work, uh, that's the type of pipes you should use for your various setups. They all have the same, um, otherwise, the, the same underground uh, length and all of that. that. None of that's any different. Looks like I'm about to the point where I need to start sorting my inventory and having my toolbar all look nice. But uh, let's start right here. And also a change is that the pumps now require electricity where they did not before. So that's a separate consideration. So if your power level gets really low, uh, the offshore pump will actually stop pumping fluids and uh, you run out of power so I'm not going to worry about that for now but it would, wouldn't would hurt to have some kind of backup system set up to where the pumps will get power even if your main setup doesn't so uh, I'm going to space that out a little bit I'm going to make an underground pipe just so I can walk through if necessary. So let's see. Nope, wrong thing. And even though I can jam them together, I don't know. I just like to space them out. But, uh, I'm not trying to min max the setup yet, so it doesn't really matter. And in fact, it might be required. Are these the same width? They are, so if you want to get power poles in there, you kind of have to. But. There we go. Let's make uh, 10 iron pipes. We'll connect all these together. And did I make enough of these? It does not appear so, because it's at six, so I'm gonna need 12. Right, or are they somewhere else? Oh, nope, they're up there. Okay, it's just a stack. And 
I'm going to need some stone pipes to connect this because this is going to be steam, so it should be a stone pipe. So, looks like 12 stone pipes. And stone pipes aren't something you use that often, and it is using bricks, so I don't want to make more than I need. Sometimes it can be hard to tell, but there is a difference between the color of the stone pipe and the iron pipe. There is a slight difference. Wish it was more, though, but eh. Okay. Let's wire all this up. Let's get some uh, burner inserters here. There. And we need to get the fuel over here. Mm. I don't really want to run it over that patch for later when we're mining it. But also running it from here is kind of inefficient because as this expands down, it's going to be a little awkward. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of split it off of here, but lower. Then do this. I guess I could make it kind of a staircase to get closer together, but I like things being nice and square. Alright, looking good. Need to get electric over here. I will just send the poles over the uh, patch for now, that's fine. So they're filled with water, which is good. Just waiting on the fuel. Seems like it goes through coal pretty fast. I might actually need two inserters, but it could just be doing that because in the beginning it has to uh, it has to fill up with steam because these are like containers, tanks in a way. So it goes at full speed for a while. So I think it's just going to take a while for the coal production to get there. Although I do have a little bit extra to help. That's out. I'll just move it up. Getting our Bob Monium in there. No more power poles. Oh. Yeah, should make some more. It looks like it's getting pretty close to backing up. Well, not really, though. Yeah, Really would prefer a higher coal production. Alright. I will fill up the entire patch. Why not? Also, to note, it's kind of hard to tell, because I'm so far away, but I can use this to show that the, uh, the turbine generator is smart. It's a, a backup sort of thing. So, the Steam engines will always run at full power, and only when extra is needed does the turbine kick in, and that's nice because it's much less efficient with coal. So it's great that it's set up that way. So there's, I guess there's really no disadvantage to just leaving them hooked up after you've got your uh, your steam set up, if you want to. I'll get rid of them, but it's nice that it's set up that way, so it's a little uh, less stressful. So not enough coal is getting there. So I will just fill up this patch with the uh, miners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, looks like we're out of uh, 
motors. Pick up some more. Burp. Burp. How are we doing here? Okay. Low. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to run down, but I also need that for poles, but I guess I can switch to iron poles. But it's more indicative of a greater problem. And that's uh, kind of this inefficient production of copper and just not having a bus set up so it'll conveniently go there. Why is this not running? Oh, it's just not getting down there. Yeah, but it's otherwise fine. See how now we're starting to get to the point where we have lots of byproducts. It's kind of a lot of stone, but we will eventually use it. But the moment that we can more easily set this up, I will definitely do it so we stop turning crushed stone into regular stone. We want to keep it as crushed stone because there's more uses. It is backing up. It would eventually get down there if I left it, but I don't want to wait. So, right here. Boom, 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 boom. Ugh. Oh. Has to have this last one for that one patch. Well, you know I'm gonna do it. I've gotta cover every one. Okay, how to do this? Let's, see, let's pick this up. Right like this. And that one goes up. Splits. Goes that direction. That goes in there. There we go. Looks like I have the poles up here. Let's put some more lights in here. Speaking of lights. Like they're all basically running now except for that last one so if we click on this no oh, it's still going did i do the math wrong maybe they're not operating yeah it says available performance it's just not running at full power so maybe that thing i said before about it is not entirely correct where it's still operating to some extent uh, oops. I thought it worked differently. Well, let's see what happens when I pick them up. Except not that one. I think we need it. Do we? Nope. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. I, I don't know. I guess that was glitched or something. I thought that worked differently. But they weren't producing the exact same percentage of their total output, so it seemed like something weird was going on there. Get rid of these. Okay. So we're doing good. That's it for this episode. I'll see you at the next one.